We have a lot in Nigeria that we can go into. Number one, agriculture. Obviously, I was not, I hadn't been born in the 60s, but watching documentaries, reading books, I heard of the uh, Guanot Pyramids in Kano, I heard of Cocoa in the Southwest, Palm Oil and the rest of them. So, this is arguably the easiest one we can start with. Agriculture and agro-allied businesses. Uh, I mean, we have vast swaths of uh, fertile land, where we have a very temperate climate. So if the federal government, working together with the states and local governments, the private sector, NGOs, and the rest of them, if we can find a way to actually develop our agricultural sector, it has the potential to employ millions of people. Then when you add the agro light sector, uh -huh. you see that it's something that can contribute a lot so that we can become a net food exporter and not food importer. One, it will give us valuable foreign exchange, foreign exchange or foreign currency. It will reduce our importation, reduce the, the strain on the Naira. Uh, this is one thing we can start with. Everybody has said it at some point. Diversification of the economy. Nigeria remains almost completely reliant on oil revenue. Even the tax we are talking of, most of the tax that Nigeria gets, or a huge percentage, is still tax that comes from the petroleum sector. You know? <laughs> so one, there is need to diversify the economy. When you talk about diversifying the economy, beyond petroleum, which is a depreciating asset, most countries, in the next 20 to 30 years, you see very little of uh, people using uh, fossil fuel. Uh, because if you go to other countries, for example, most people now use electric cars, or at least hybrid cars. Uh -huh. um, me now in my house, I use inverter. I don't even have generator. So many people are going. So it's clear that oil is a depreciating asset. And the oil prices, for the past couple of years, have also not been high. So that's one. 